Yeah, Tracy Elephant. If you, O oh Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But with you is found forgiveness, O oh God of Israel. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome. Especially, we welcome our school children、uh, here to worship God. And、uh, we have first grade and the fifth grade, and we welcome them. And now, let us、uh, come to our loving God, knowing that God loves us, no matter what kind of mistake we make or what kind of sin we commit. So we have make mis- we have made mistakes. And we commit sins. Now we acknowledge our sins before God. Ask God to forgive us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault. Through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, bless Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May Your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. So. <laughs> Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of Saint Paul to the Ephesians, brothers and sisters, in Christ we are also chosen, destined in all accord with the purpose of the One who accomplishes all things according to the intention of His will, so that we might exist for the praise of His glory. We who first hoped in Christ, in Him you also, who have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and have believed in Him. We're sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, which is the first installment of our inheritance toward redemption as God's possession, to the praise of His glory. The Word of God. Thanks be to God. The response is: Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be His own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be His own. Exult, you just, in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten-string lyre, chant His praises. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be His own. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be His own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people He has chosen for His own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down; 
he sees all mankind. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. May your kindness, Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, so many people were crowding together. They were trampling one another underfoot. Jesus began to speak first to his disciples, "Be aware of the leaven that is the hypocrisy of the Pharisees. There's nothing concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret will not be known." Therefore, whatever you have said in darkness will be heard in the light, and what you have whispered behind closed doors will be proclaimed on the house tops. I tell you, my friend, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but after that can do no more. I shall show. I shall show you whom to fear. Be afraid of the one who, after killing, has power to cast into Gehenna. Yes, I tell you, be afraid of the other one. Are not five sparrows sold for a small two coins? Yet, not one of them has escaped the notice of God. Even the hairs of your hand have been counted. Do not be afraid. You are worthy more than many sparrows. Dear brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Pray to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good to see you today. So we know that many people in the world are still do not believe in God. I believe in Jesus Christ, right? And、uh, do you believe in God and in Jesus Christ? Yeah, yeah. Some of you do not hesitate to raise your hand, and.、Uh, Because、uh, there's a lot of reasons. Oh, yeah. Some people thinking, I can live just without God in this world, right? That's why、uh, we do not see the difference, big difference, ah,、uh, between those people who believe in God and do those people who do not believe in God. That's why not many people are convinced. So imagine if those people who believe in God. And our appears different.、Uh, they always have a、um, more beautiful faces, or they have halo on their head, and、uh, they have everything. And、uh, appears if those people who believe in God appears different, 
are from those people who do not believe in God. Probably many people will convinced. Yes, see, right after baptism, these people uh, who believe in God appear differently. So many people will believe in God, right? In that way. But uh, there uh, seems there's no difference between those people who believe in God, who, uh, those people who do not believe in God. And, but we know that no, that's why we proclaim a God who loves us all, right? And no matter who we are, uh, even, you believe, uh, even you do not believe in God, God loves you, right? Right? And uh, that's why we have people uh, who even do not believe in God, continue live in this life, uh, in, in this world, uh, continue uh, have a beautiful lives, right? Because God loves all people, right? But, uh, you know, what's the difference uh, if God loves both unbelievers and believers? What's the difference for the believers? Can anybody uh, tell us? Uh, because for those people who believe in God, uh, they are convinced there's an uh, existence of God. God exists, right? And then, then they, have, they are convinced that then when, once you believe in Jesus Christ, they will enter into eternal life. Once they believe in God, they are convinced uh, there's a meaning in this life, right? They follow God's commandment, and then for sure they are connected with God. They know and that God loves them, right? So that's why we hear in the today's gospel, uh, Jesus revealed that uh, each of us is very precious, right? Uh, God knows everything about our life, and no matter what we believe or not, God knows everything. Right? No matter what we said and the, in the secret, and no matter what we said in the secret, God knows, right? And also, God even knows, as Jesus said, uh, how many hair we have on our, our head. So God, uh, because God created us, and also God knows us. Uh, and He knows us, even the most secret, a sense in our heart. That's why everything is very clear about ourselves and very clear in God's eyes. So God is destined to really to know us, and we are precious. And Jesus said, uh, even the sparrows, one sparrow uh, sold for two coins at that time, uh, Jesus says, and you are worthy, more man, more than many, many sparrows. Uh, that's why Jesus revealed us, uh, God loves us. Then, if God, we truly know that God loves, loves us, well, how shall we respond? You should love what He created. Yes, very good. You should love what God has created. That's what you said. Oh, well, very good. Huh? You love everything that God has created. Right? Be thankful for everything. Yeah, be thankful and have a great gratitude uh, to everything, everything in our life, uh, including our parents, our family, your classmate. Right? Be thankful for everything. What other response we have? Don't hurt it. Don't hurt. Anything, right? <laughs> yeah, very good. Uh, don't hurt uh, people, especially. Uh, don't hurt the creation. Uh, we God give us uh, this beautiful world. Uh, we don't want to hurt anything. Serve him. Serve him. How do you serve God? Like, don't hurt anyone and don't try to sin. Yeah, very good. Listen to his, follow his commandment, right? I want to hear from the first grade. Yes. Love one another. Oh, very good. That's Jesus wants us to do, huh? Love one another. 
Yeah, even people have fault, and we forgive them. We love them, right? Oh, very wonderful. Don't be a sinner. Don't be a sinner. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't be a sinner, and always ah,、uh, um, follow ah、uh, what、uh, our parents want us to do or our teacher want us to do, and、uh, be good. Golden rule.、Uh, do the golden rule. So what is golden rule? Oh, very good. Treat others、uh, like what you or you you want others treat you, right? Oh, great. Oh, I'm so impressed.、Huh? So as I said, and God loves us, and today. We come together. We want to respond to God, right? God is here, and whenever we gather together in this church, God is here. And sometimes we cannot do it by ourselves, right? And we are weak, and sometimes we have our own desire become selfish. But we pray that Jesus helps us to be a good person. To be、um, careful about. Your mom and dad's things do not let it break when、oh. you play with it. Yeah, that's right. You 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 don't want to break things, right? Okay, let us now and、uh, come to our loving God and ask God to help us、uh, to be good good、uh, good people. Okay. Now let us stand and offer our prayers. Ask God to bless us and bless the world. We pray for the church scattered throughout the world. That it may grow in unity and bring all people to faith in God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. We pray for the rich nations of the world, that they may use their resources to the benefit of the developing nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. Prayer. We pray for the saint and parish that we may hear Christ speaking in our hearts and live our lives like Him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for our families, our friends, and all our neighbors that we may see Christ in one another and love us as He loves us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for parents and teachers and all who bring God's word to the young, that they may know something of God's compassion and care for His people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that the sick may know that they are not alone in their suffering, but that they have a share in the passion of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we also pray for our mass intention, and we pray for George, Kirst, Kirstin, and Peggy Splen, and for their、um, eternal rest in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Grace, loving God, we offer all our prayers to you, and may you hear them and answer them. According to your holy will, we ask this through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Hey, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hand for praise and glory of God's name for our good, good of His holy Church. Accept, O、oh、Lord, the prayer of your faithful with sacrificial offerings, that through this act of devotedness. We may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord.、Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation. And so, with a, so, in the company of the choirs of the angels, we praise you. And with joy, we proclaim: Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest! You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it. To his disciples, saying, "Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you." In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, "Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this." In memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Salvatore our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember George and Peggy and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Dear brothers and sisters, at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, "Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come." Thy will be done on earth as it <laughs> give us a day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of Your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom. <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, "Peace I leave you, my peace I give you." Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity. In accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever, the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
da pare Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature. Who lives and reigns forever and ever, Amen. Thank you so much. It's really、uh, very happy to see you, and especially thank our lecturers and、uh, those people who prepare for the petitions. 
and thank you, first graders, for your active participation. And we really enjoy your presence at the mass. Okay, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. A mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.